nothing we're good. My name is Jacob Steris. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm an ex-car salesperson, and if you're wondering how much a car salesperson earns in the UK in 2020, I'm going to tell you. And if you stick around to the end, I'm also going to tell you a few little tips which will get you above the threshold where you're earning even more on the cars that you're earning. If you're new here, be kind, subscribe. It feels good in your soul, in my soul. It makes us all feel good. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a like because that does something to something which makes YouTube go, hey, that was a good video. So we're going to show it a bit further. Now, I've been asked a million and ten times whilst I was working in sales and also since I've left sales about how much we earn. We always drove around in nice cars as salespeople. We always generally had kind of nice watches, a nice suit. But was that just a show or did we actually earn good money? Well, I'm going to tell you the truth. This is from my experience, from people I know throughout the trade, what they've earned, different positions. I'm just going to give you a bit of an overview as to what you can expect to earn as a car sales executive in the UK. Now, first things first, you have to be aware the basic salary for a sales executive, depending on what you're used to, is terrible. OK, um, I started out in care work before I went into car sales and actually the basic salary was about borderline with my care work. So for me, it wasn't that bad, but I started on about £13,000 a year as a basic salary. So that is important to know, because if you're not selling anything, we have a couple of months when you're joining and not earning anything from selling and commission, you will be living off your basic salary, which is not a lot. I then moved on to other dealerships and their salary started at sort of 18,000 as a basic, still not fantastic salary. Uh, but again, the basic salary, you don't want to be relying on that because if you're only living off your basic salary, it means you're not selling anything. Trust me, they will not keep you for very long. But as with any sales job, any commission based job, you earn as much as you can. <laughs> Duh. The harder you work is what I'm trying to say. The harder you work, the more you can earn. All right. So if you sit around and just wait for leads to come to you and don't really proactively go out and sell any cars and don't do very many units. So let's say you're selling five to ten units a month. If your dealership is happy with that and they're keeping you on, you've got to ask some questions. But if you're doing, say, five to ten units a month, expect to probably, say your basic salary is on the 18, so we're going to work around an 18,000, your basic salary. A commission on top of that on five to ten cars a month, you're probably you know, around between 25-ish to £29,000 a year. I know, to some people, that's going to sound like loads of money. In sales, that's not a lot of money, which is the exciting thing. Because if you're looking to join into car sales, there is a huge sum of money to be earned. And that's not because you're taking advantage of customers and selling them cars with huge profits across them. It's just because the commission structures are quite good in car sales and there is money in cars. Therefore, you are rewarded for selling more units. You're only taking a small part of actually what the car's earning. So it's, it's pretty decent, to be honest. As we move up the scale to the average sales exec, average sales exec is going to be selling anywhere between sort of 12 to 18 cars a month. That's a pretty good area. It's a stable area that any dealer should be happy with you doing and you'll be happy because you're expecting to be earning an average dealership, I would say, probably after the commissions and things around the sort of £35,000 a year on average. So again, it's a good wage. And when you really put it in perspective, selling, say, a one car every two to three days, you're earning more than teachers. You're earning more than police officers. You're earning more than paramedics, which is mind-blowing. It's crazy to think that that's possible, but it's really like that. You do work long hours through the days, you work a lot of days, but if you're money driven and you can work hard, you can earn a lot of money. Now we're venturing into the, the big dog area where the, the boys, the girls, the big hitters are really playing in. And this is the 20 cars plus a month. If you're selling 20 cars plus a month as an average, then you're in the 200 club. The 200 club is the infamous club that we all wanna be in, which is the, you're selling more than 200 cars per year. As an average, and I'm not talking any extras, I'm just talking bare metal. If you're selling about 200 cars a year, expect to be earning around the sort of 40 to 45, even creeping on 50,000 pounds a year as a car salesperson in the UK. So now we're talking about some proper money. Getting into that 200 club is important, but it's not going to happen by you just sitting around and waiting for people to come in. Those people in the 200 club are the proactive sellers, the ones that are really going at it, really getting out in front of the people before they're 
competition, their colleagues are, and they're the ones that are really actively trying to use digital, You're trying to use all these different avenues to really prospect customers, get them in, sell cars. That's how you get in the 200 club. But trust me, if you can get in that 200 club, you'll be earning quite a bit of money. And finally, as a car salesperson, if you hit 300 cars a year, there are people doing it, okay? I worked with one sales exec who worked at a Citroen garage, so not a prestige garage or anything like that, a Citroen garage. He was averaging between 250 and 300 cars a year. He was driving around in a nearly new Audi RS7, okay? <laughs> it's, there is major money in that kind of league which again, you have to be super proactive. You're not sitting on your, your derriere waiting for people to come in. You're out there. You're, you're consumed in the world of sales. You're still on late. You'll sell cars. But if you can get that done, now you're earning. And I told you there'd be a bonus tip. A bonus tip at the end, which you've stuck around for, so I appreciate it. And I'm going to tell you how you can earn even more on less cars. So let's just say, for example, you are selling on average 12 to 15 cars a month. That's the average. That's the average area that you're going to be in as a sales exec in a normal kind of franchise dealership. I'm not talking about car supermarkets. It's a very different beast. Okay, In a franchise dealership, about 12 to 15 cars on average. That's where you're going to be set, sitting around, be okay with, all right, around that sort of 30, 35, possibly 40,000 pounds a year if you're pushing it. You can make 50,000 pounds a year selling that number of cars. All you need to focus on is products. Products, products, and products. This is called F&I, finance and insurance. So selling finance to the customer, getting them on the finance plan, selling the gap insurance, tire and alloy protection, paint protection, warranties, all of these additional things will earn you money. Because on every car you sell, each of these is worth anywhere between 25 and 45 pounds to you. And if you think you get four of those and they're all worth 45 pounds, well, in that car, you've just earned an extra 200 nearly pounds just for selling some extra products on the same car. And then you have the car money on top. So you can be doubling what you're earning. You can earn massive amounts on smaller cars. So concentrate on the F&I if you can. That's the area where it really weeds out the good sales execs from the bad sales execs. And remember, those people that are selling 200 plus cars a year, they're usually pretty good at F&I as well. So you can only imagine what money they're earning. Anyway, if you're looking to join this industry and you wanted an insight, hopefully that has given it to you. A car sales executive in the UK in 2020 can earn some really, really good money, but you need to be proactive. You can't sit around, don't sit on your butt, waiting for things to happen. You've got to go and get it. But if you sell 200 cars a year, you're earning some good, good money. And don't forget F&I. Thank you very much for being part of this video and watching. If you enjoyed this, if it gave you some value, please feel free to subscribe and like the page and something about a notification bell. Probably don't do that. I, you don't have to do that. I won't notify you. Just if a video comes up, just watch it. I appreciate it. And uh, I will catch you in another video.